If you've been in real estate for any amount of time, you know that prospecting is everything in this business. But if you're new, you may not know how or where to get started. And that's what I wanna talk about today, right after this super cool intro that I just made. Hey guys, I'm Brandon. I'm a local realtor here in Los Angeles County. And I wanna make a video for you guys today about prospecting. Now, I'm gonna try and keep this video relatively short, and to do that, I'm gonna really talk about the, the, the types of lead generation that I do and that I've implemented in my business, which has allowed it to scale and grow year after year after year. First off, let's talk about what prospecting or lead generation is. So lead generation, prospecting, other people may call it, is the actions that you take to go out and find new potential clients, people that are looking to buy, sell, rent, or invest. There's a lot of different forms to that. The, the form of lead generation that I have taken on is through the phones. So other methods would be like open houses, online leads, um, your sphere of influence. For me, I use the phones of calling a targeted audience, and we're gonna talk more about what that audience looks like. So cold calling? No. So there's a difference between prospecting and cold calling. And I'm gonna explain what that is. Prospecting is going after a targeted audience. The people that are most likely to be interested in what it is that we are doing. Someone who's most likely going to be interested in buying, selling, renting, or investing. Cold calling it's just dialing a bunch of random numbers, hoping one of them will bite at what it is you are doing. So prospecting is going to be more efficient, more effective than cold calling. Now there are several different kinds of telephone prospecting you can do. The ones that are gonna be most effective and help you get the best return on your time that you invest into lead generating and prospecting will be going after expireds uh, for sell by owners, canceled listings for rent by owners, and calling neighborhoods where you already have a listing or may have just sold something in, okay? So we're gonna talk about what each one is individually. So what an expired listing is, is somebody who had their home on the market for a certain length of time, whatever that listing period is that they had hired the, the real estate agent for, and that real estate agent couldn't sell. So say they hired that realtor for 90 days, that house sat on the market for 90 days and did not sell. That is now an expired listing. Now they could still have a very strong motivation to sell that property, which is why we want to target that type of client, that type of homeowner. Next one up is canceled listings. So what a canceled listing is, is somebody who actually hired a realtor and then canceled that agreement with the realtor. There could be many different reasons, okay? this They could have had an emergency in the family. They could have gotten into a big heated argument with the realtor and simply fired them. We don't know that. So again, this could be somebody who has a very strong motivation to want to relist their property and still sell. We just don't know that reason until we call them. Number three is for sell by owners. They are already trying to sell the house. They are just not working with a realtor at this time. Now, again, many different reasons as to why. The market is really hot right now. They could simply be just trying to save some money on commissions, thinking they don't need to hire a realtor. Other one could be, and some stuff that I've heard in the past from for sale by owners, is they had a bad experience with the last realtor that they worked with. That realtor may have not taken care of them or, in a way, burned them. And so they're not very trusting of realtors, and the right person will come along and earn their business. Number four, we have for rent by owner. These are people who have put their home on the market for rent. They're actively looking to get a tenant in there. This is great because they actually don't have an emotional attachment to the property the same way that somebody does who lives in that property. Here they really care about numbers a lot of the time. Not the same for everyone, but a lot of the time. Now, they may not know what that value is of their house. Now, if you call them, you speak to them, and you can give them an idea as to what their house is actually worth, you never know. They may say they don't want to deal with tenants anymore, and they may just want to cash out and uh, take their money and run and sell the property. 
And last but not least, calling neighborhoods where you already have a home for sale or just sold one, we actually call this circle prospecting. Now, it's been effective for me. Not everybody uh, likes to do this. It's very tedious. It's a lot more no's that you go through than to get a yes than you would in some of the other areas of business that we try and collect leads from, uh, but still very effective, right? The best way to get one listing in a neighborhood is to already have one in that neighborhood. And that's what's going to allow you to really get yourself known in a certain area, a certain market that you want to be in. Talk to everybody that lives there. If you already have a property that you feel is priced very well, that looks very great, you never know. You may call the neighborhood, the neighbors around, just tell them what the house is selling for. Tell them what you sold it for, tell them the features of the house. If they're interested, a lot of the time they will tell you. Okay, there's no magic pill, no magic, um, no, there's no secret to this. If you're out there and you're talking to people and they find value in what you're saying, they're going to tell you if they want to do business with you or not. So take that little piece of information away from that. So we talked about a couple different ways to find business, but where, what systems are we using to actually get these phone numbers to call and how are we calling them? So I actually use a platform uh, called My Plus Leads. That's where I get all my data from. Okay, so they're gonna give me the phone numbers some of the times, they'll even give me the emails for expireds, canceled, circle prospecting for rent by owners and for sell by owners. And then the actual dialing system that I use is Mojo. So I use Mojo's triple line dialer. I paired it up with My Plus Leads. So every day, uh, My Plus Leads actually sends all the data to Mojo. So I don't need to manually do this. It's automatic for me. It makes it very easy to do. I don't need to do a whole lot, which we want to get as much, uh, accomplish as much in as little time as possible. So we don't really want to waste time doing little things like that. So it's nice to have a little extra help, makes it easier for me. And then when I get a lead, I can actually load it into my CRM. So very easy to use, very easy to do guys. Keep in mind that this is not a short term play, right? We are in this for the long game. So don't be discouraged if you're trying this for a couple days and you don't already have listing appointments set or you don't have deals under contract. You're not getting leads. You gotta do this every day for a long period of time because there's a learning curve with it too, right? So at first you're not gonna be very good. You're gonna have some fear of talking to people and what they're gonna say to you and they're gonna hang up on you and how you're gonna take all that in. It comes with, with time, guys. You have to be doing this for a certain amount of time to one, improve your skills, okay? And find, uh, or know the right questions to ask, okay? So if you do this for a few days and you're not getting the right uh, results that you're looking for, you just haven't been doing it long enough. Okay, there's definitely a difference from somebody who's done this three hours a day for a year straight versus someone who's done this three hours a day for five days straight. I think we can both agree on that, right? So guys, keeping that in mind that this is not a short-term play, this is something that you have to be in for the long run, you will get the results. Now, it doesn't come overnight. Okay, you have to improve your skills. You have to invest the time into getting better at this. And if you do that and you stick with it for a long period of time, you will get those results a lot faster than you would think. Okay, it does move slow at first, but once you get the hang of it, your skills will improve and your results will improve dramatically. You just have to stick with it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And if you would actually like to see some videos of me prospecting, make sure to let me know. I'd love to show you guys exactly how I prospect and find business. <laughs>